My name is Andrew Bowman. I'm the owner of Bowman's Pro Turf, uh, and I want to take a couple minutes to share with everybody uh, a big misconception, a big myth that we hear almost every single day, uh, whether it's from customers or potential clients calling and just asking questions, and that is uh, mole control and grub control. Um, first off, uh, we, we, we always tell all of our customers, it's on our website several different places, uh, we have a, a, a blog, a written blog about it, and I made a video earlier this year uh, about some lawn care myths. Um, mole control and grub control uh, are not the same thing. Um, just because you have moles in your lawn does not mean that you have grub worms present. Moles' primary food source is earthworms, uh, so as long as you have earthworms, you have the mole's primary food source. Applying a grub control, a grub preventative, will not do anything to get rid of your moles. Uh, so I'll say that again, applying a grub control preventative will not do anything to get rid of any of your moles on your property. It's a myth, it's a lie, it's not true, uh, and so we will never sell a grub control to take care of moles. We will never promise it's gonna do that. We will never tell anybody it's going to do that. So the two things that we know guaranteed will work for moles are the following. Mole traps and mole bait. A lot of times we hear this, well I've tried the traps, they don't work. They do work. It's kind of like fishing, right? Uh, you, you cast your line out in the same spot, you don't catch anything. Do it again, you don't catch anything. You do it again, you don't catch anything. You might want to move to a different location. So with traps, uh, you put the trap in an active mole run. What we recommend is find a long, straight mole run, put the trap down into that, uh, and do not disturb the mole run. After a couple days, if you don't catch anything, move the trap. The bigger your property and the more mole damage you have, the more traps you might consider purchasing. So what traps do we recommend? Well, there's one that's pretty easy to get to. Uh, you can get it at most major stores. It's called the Easy Mole Trap. I have one right here. This is the box it comes in. They are not sponsoring uh, this video. They haven't given us any money to endorse their product. This is just what we like to use, so I like to share what we like to use. Stainless steel, pretty easy. You push it down into the soil, step on it, the tines go out, mole goes through it, then it sets it off, and you're done. You don't have to worry about it anymore. As long as you don't run over it with a lawnmower, it will last longer than we do. It's not gonna go anywhere. Make sure you, uh, like I said, put it in a long straight mole run. You'll be good to go. Move it around a couple times. This does work. The second thing that we like to use is mole bait. These can be found right next to those mole traps, the easy mole trap. Costs about $15 for this box. Looks like earthworms. Now, this company is playing into the fact of the myth that grubs cause moles, and right next to this box is a box that looks like grub worms. The mole doesn't care when it comes to the bait because they're attracted to the smell of it. But this is the one that looks like gummy worms. This is what we use. Comes with a pair of rubber gloves. Put those rubber gloves on. Poke your finger into the mole run. Drop the gummy worm mole bait into the mole run. Once the mole eats it, it will die. This is such low toxicity, you do not have to worry about cats or dogs eating it to make them sick. I've checked with the manufacturer, I've talked with them, you're all good. You'd have to put about um, several hundred of these in a mole run and your cat or dog to get it into those, eat all of them before they got six. sick. This only comes with 12 worms, it's not going to do any harm uh, to your animals. There's no residual. If your dog goes out, eats the mole, the, the um, rodenticide is not going to be transmitted from the mole to your pet, so you don't have to worry about that. So that's it. Those are the two things, the only two things that we recommend that we know that is guaranteed to take care of moles. Anything else uh, that, that folks try and sell you uh, is snake oil. It's not going to work. So speaking of snake oil, what does that mean? The sonar beacons in the ground, they don't work. Barriers in the ground, they don't work. Um, castor oil, that doesn't work. Juicy fruit in the mole runs doesn't work. Gasoline in the mole runs is very dangerous, so don't try that. Hooking up your car exhaust to a tunnel, that doesn't work. Fireworks, bottle rockets, putting a hose in the mole run. Yeah, that's probably gonna annoy them, but it's not gonna get rid of them. It's not gonna prevent them from coming in your lawn. And it's gonna do more damage, probably to yourself and your property, than it will the actual mole. So those are the two things, mole traps and mole bait. Those are the only things. Do not do business with a company that's gonna tell you, we can get rid of your moles by putting down a grub preventative. 
because if they're telling you that lie, who knows what other lies they're going to be telling you. So this is my little rant for right now. Uh, just trying to be honest and transparent with not just our customers, but everybody uh, who is trying to do lawn care and find the perfect magic solution for moles because there is none. Traps and bait, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let us know. Uh, shoot us a comment, email, phone call, text, whatever. Uh, like, subscribe, get your notifications. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We always love to hear from the folks who watch our videos. That's it for now. Thanks.